What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natalie and this is episode one of a brand new series, the Wind Waker series. How is everybody doing? Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your weather is nice and fresh. Thank you for joining me in this episode and I hope you guys enjoy this brand new series. Thank you guys again for all the support. It's much, much appreciated. I hope that this series goes good and that we, um, get it done quick and efficiently so we can move on to the next series that we could get closer and closer to doing and finishing all of the games in the zelda timeline so far to be ready for tears of the kingdom this is but one of the legends of which the people speak long ago there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand. A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a foul wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depth of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour as June drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youth to know courage like the hero of legend. Big Brother! Big Brother!
Big Brother. I knew you'd be here. This is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the goals, I call it Ariel's Lookout. So do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. That's why grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? Alright, so welcome to Wind Waker. I am playing this on the original system that it came out on, the GameCube. Um, and there are a few differences in the HD remake that came out on the Wii U and... Well, other than the graphics being way, way better and a lot more clear and just really beautiful. I mean, this game is such a beautiful game anyway, but once the re HD remake came out, just like Twilight Princess, they both, like, got an upgrade and it just looks way, way better. Um, but the other difference regarding the HD remake of Wind Waker is that you can get the colored pictograph early on that way you could take a picture of Goma before you go to find the gallery and stuff before you go to Forest Haven and that comes in handy I'll, like big time because like I said you're able to get Goma right there in the beginning of the game instead of having to wait until pretty much the end of the game to get another picture of Goma I think that's the name um also it'll when you try to take pictures or when you do take pictures of enemies and stuff like that it'll tell you in the top right corner i think of the screen if it's good and it's going to be accepted by the dude who does the figurines at the nintendo gallery so i think that's really cool too i've been waiting for you link link try these on time certainly flies i can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes Look at his face, he looks so disgusted by air, like... I don't know, he's just looking at it like it's cringe. <laughs> you got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all of this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday. So I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Hmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister, Ariel. So back to the Ariel's lookout or where we were sleeping to go get our sister. But I think this is such a cute game. I, again, like the art style. It's similar and pretty much the same as the art style from Minish Cap. As well as the Four Swords original and the Four Swords adventures that we just played. If you go on the bottom here underneath your house, aka Grandma's house and Ariel's house as well. There's going to be this little... What is it? Um, not a, really a basement, but it's underneath the house and you could get 100 rupees. 
Yes, an orange rupee. Just one of these is worth 100 rupees. Your face is beaming. Oh, I bet it is. Shoot. If I got that much money as a kid, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm rich. All right, so let's actually just head over straight to Ariel. I don't think Beetle's here yet. Boy, Link, press L right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. No, thank you. I do not want your... Also, we need to get this stupid pig. So what you have to do is you actually have to crawl towards it to pick it up. Because you'll, like I did already, you'll scare it if you just run up to it. And you can throw all three pigs in here. That one is right there, obviously. The next one is actually right here. And then the last one is going to be all the way over here. But first, we could go ahead and pick up some rupees while we're at it. There's five right here and then ten over here. So, a total of 15 rupees. Now, we're definitely making some bank by getting that money. There's also a few rupees under this house here. But we didn't come for those rupees. We came for this piggy right here. That booger boy annoys me. He also comes out, I think, on Minish Cap. You fuse with him. Ugh. I think his name is Zill, too. And he, ugh, he's so disgusting. That big old nasty booger that's just hanging from his nose disturbs me. And I hate that he cheats me to try to touch me with it. Okay, now that we have all three pigs in the pen, we can go in and talk to this lady. Why did you find these pigs and bring them here just for little old me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. Oh, and the boys will be so happy when they get home. Oh, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. You got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. And here's our gratitude for bringing us new family members. We got another 20 rupees. Nice, nice, nice. We're up to 155. And finally, this is to congratulate you for working so hard on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. And we get another 20, putting us at 175. I suppose now I'll have to name these little oinking cutie kittens. Yes, I, um, I assume you have to. I mean, or don't. I don't care. You could do whatever you want with your pet piggies. Name them whatever you want. Or don't give them a name. Like I said, I don't really care. All I want to do is avoid this stupid kid. Oh gosh, she's running so fast towards me. Now we gotta go get Ariel. Well, I did not mean to jump into the ocean, but luckily we have this ladder right here and I don't have to go all the way around again. Ahoy, big brother. Did grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope! This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. We can set it to Y, Z, or X and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now and see what you can see. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. Well, we'll see once we uh, get more into the game, just because I don't want to really spoil too much or whatever. And yeah, we do have to look at the postman. The postman looks kind of weird. And then, ah, uh, Link, the sky, look up in the sky. And then we're going to see the bird from Four Swords that we just fought. Has a person in its talons and is flying to who knows where. 
There's also a ship that's just throwing a bunch of cannonballs at it. Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Okay, so now that that is said, we will go and see if we can find something to defend ourselves with. Hmm, maybe we can go learn some swordsmanship skills from Orca like Grandma was telling us about earlier. Maybe that'll help since we can't get the shield yet. It looks like. Oh, what is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Ah, uh, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and practice with Orca. He also looks like one of my uncles. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Whoops. Wrong! Press only B. Sorry, sorry. Sheesh. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say very good. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold L to target me, then press B. Keep swinging. Very good. Next is the thrust. L target, then tilt up and press B. Come at me. Thrust with your sword. Very good. Keep thrusting. Next is the spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength, then release it or rotate the stick once and press B. Whoops. I'm trying, old man. Ooh, nice. Very good. More. Keep it up. Next is harder. This is a parry attack. I'll target until you see the A flash, then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. Very good, and again, I'll target and watch closely for the flashing A. Very good, now finally the jump attack. Draw your sword, I'll target, and press A. Come at me once more. That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero's sword, wield it with me. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. So now that we have the sword, I'm assuming we could go get the, the shield now. No, I'm so sorry. You don't go get the shield yet. So now that we have a sword to defend ourselves with, uh, and to fight any enemies that we may come across we are gonna go into the forest to go save that girl that fell in there and to get there you have to go all the way back over here as if you're going to the lookout tower you can also see the ship coming that's pretty cool it's coming to dock on the island and we can actually go up this little hill right here this little pathway and there's going to be some trees that we could cut down 
and we can look at the sign and it says i think no entry the forest path are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete and yes this is the way i don't think i'm gonna cut all the grass um just because we don't really need to cut it at the moment since we're barely starting the game and we do have full hearts so we don't need to get any hearts Fairy Fountain Sight Ahead. Increase your fortune. Alright, let's go increase our fortune, guys. Yep, there she is. She fell and landed, or like, got caught on a tree branch. So we gotta go get her down but let's see if we can oh so there's also some money in these logs right here there's 20 rupees and that brings us up to 195 and now we could kill this guy let's see if we could be sneaky sneaky i don't think we're gonna be able to but we could try oh no never mind he saw us i love fighting these guys too So this is where, uh, let me see, let me read this sign first, just in case, just in case. Yeah, okay, so fairy fountain site, I didn't want to spoil it just in case, but it does say it on this sign. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune. So it came to be known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddesses. Or the Goddess. Not Goddesses. We're getting closer. Oh, but here comes some... I think they're... Um, are these... I think these are just Moblins. They could be Bokoblins, though. Wow, what's with that getup? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness. You're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain. Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Hi, big brother. Stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. What? You want to come with us on our ship? 
Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates? The terror of the seas? What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Grey Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears, like yours, have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? Hmm, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Alright, so this is the first time in the timeline, I think, that we come across the Rito. This is a Rito. And it's crazy to see them um, because you'll see later on in the future once we get further into the game. But let's go see if we can get the shield now since we're going to try to go save our sister. Um, Of course, that stupid big bird had to come and just ruin stuff by kidnapping Ariel. <laughs> so that stinks. But we're going to go save our sister. And the shield is gone. Where could it have possibly gone? Hmm? Grandma. Are you the suspect? Yes, she is. Look at the shield she's carrying. She's a thief. Link. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. I guess it is true. Ariel really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? I'm sorry, Grandma. We're gonna go save her, though. This music is so sad, and then... Oh my gosh, it's just a sad little section. But we'll save Ariel, Grandma. Ma. Don't worry. Don't be sad now. Okay, so now that we have some money, we can go spend it in Beetle's shop. Yes, Beetle's back, everybody. Our favorite character in the whole Widest Zelda series. 
Beetle. This is where he originally came out. Oh, a customer. Welcome to Beetle's shop ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. And what I meant by that is that I know that he came out in um, Sky Resort, but I'm talking about not regarding to the timeline that Nintendo made up and stuff. I'm talking about like release dates in the actual, you know, life and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Oh, just use the dialogue stick to browse. So we do want this, the bait bag. We're going to go ahead and buy it for 20 rupees because we have a lot, a lot of money. So we got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Press Y, Z, or X to see what's inside. Then press Y, Z, or X again to get your bait ready to use. You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. Now you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh, just you. Okay, so we're going to buy five of these. We got a Hyoi. Hyoi pair? I don't know how to pronounce that. This special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. Choose your bait bag on the item screen and set it to either Y, Z, or X to use it. When controlling seagulls, tap A to flap your wings and accelerate. Press R to quit. And now we're going to buy five of these baits. So all-purpose bait, three servings for 10 rupees. Yes, please. So we got all-purpose bait. Animals will be drawn to this gourmet pet food the moment you put it down. It has three portions. Choose your bait on the item screen. Then set this to either YZ or X to use it. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I don't know why I bought... <laughs> Oops, I bought one too many pairs. Oh, well. We'll be fine. Let's actually go ahead and save it really quick, just in case. All right, so now that we're set to go, we have our shield, we have our sword, and we have some bait, the bait bag, and some pears. We are ready to go save our sister. Wow, that's a decapital shield. Are you sure you could still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Oh my gosh, she's so mean. Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Good luck, Link! Good luck finding Ariel! Take care of yourself! How much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. Why is she so mean? I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Poor grandma. That was such a sad scene. That's what I was talking about. It was so sad. But don't worry, we'll save Ariel, Grandmama. Okay, so now that we're on the ship, let's go through this door over here. Because we're gonna go meet some people, talk to special people. And see what's crack a lacking. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but also I wanna Ah! Stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think about it. Or think it. Oh, I forgot that we can't go in there yet. Boo. Hi, Nico. He's my favorite pirate. He's so awesome. 
I love him. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem, I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Wow. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt the dialog stick up to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. If you jump right at the rope, you could grab onto it and use the dialogue stick to tilt up or down to swing. Swing until you can get close enough to the next platform, then press A to let go and jump to it. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Wow, how rude. So the first things first we're going to do is we're actually going to step on this switch to put the platforms down. And then we're going to go ahead and raise it again just to restart the timer. And we're going to do what he said, jump platform to platform, torch to torch. And there we go, we made it before the timer even ran out. What? You did it already? I, I, I'm proud to have you as, as my, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Are you sure this is okay? I mean, you're kind of trying to hide it, so... You got the spoils bag. You could keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on the item screen to see what's inside. Press them again to set and use one of its contents. Hey, Link! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress! Hurry and get up here! Gosh, can you guys believe it that we're already on the second timeline? And we just have, well, this one is going to be a really short timeline. It's only three games, just like Majora's, uh, just like the child timeline. <laughs> the Fallen timeline is going to be really, really long because it has a lot of games there. Hey, Link, here I am up here. And 
that goes the same for Breath of the Wild because Breath of the Wild has so much you can do. Especially the Koroks. I'm dreading that. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever to find all the Koroks. Even though I know where they're at, all of the locations are still gonna take forever to go to each one and do the puzzles and everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so dreading that, but <laughs> I can't wait to get to Breath of the Wild. It's so nice. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the Cursed Isle, known as the Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now, the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it! Look! Over there! By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? They just put him in a barrel. That's so sad. How did he not notice that they put him in a barrel? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. One. He just waves. Poor Link. But they barely missed the spot that I needed to be in. Yep, there I go. All the way to the bottom. Welcome to the Forsaken Fortress. Our first so-called mini dungeon i mean it is a dungeon mini dungeon and i like it it's a it's actually a stealthy little dungeon you kind of really don't fight anybody your sword landed all the way up there shoot i'm sorry i apologize i guess my aim was off by a little bit Heh. <laughs> the look on your face priceless oh yeah me being terrified that i'm gonna die that's so hilarious i slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there it's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see the A flash, you'd better press that button. I put the stone on your quest status screen. Press start and use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go losing it, you understand? So we're gonna need this barrel to be sneaky sneaky. And if you're greedy enough, just like I am, <laughs> you could go and try to attempt to go get those rubies. But for now, I am not going to do that because I just want to get through it. Then that's not really a requirement in my eyes oh, to 100% complete this game. Oh my gosh, I almost got caught. Luckily, we're a pro. I shouldn't have said that because now I'm going to get caught. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't get caught. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um, there is nothing here, but there is a ladder on the other side, I think. So if we go up this little pathway, we can go to this area right here where one of the headlights are. Spotlights, not headlights, spotlights. And we can fight the guy who is controlling them. Um, the way that we can fight these guys actually is remember to go to this side and you pick up this barrel, I mean jar, with the sticks in it. And you can use one of the sticks as a weapon. And here's that nerd. 
So once he stops that, obviously the lights go up into the sky so you can't be spotted. And this is exactly our goal. Smack the heck out of him with this stick to stop him from watching the fortress so we can get over to the area where our sister is. So we got a joy pendant. You could keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. Wait a minute, then why did he have it? He does not spread joy. That enemy, I don't care what you say, he does not spread joy to anybody. He just spreads pain and suffering. So there's a chest over here. And we got the dungeon map. Press the up arrow on the d-pad to view it. Green areas are ones you visited. The flashing area is your current location. Tilt up or down to view other floors. And if we go over here, this is going to be where you get locked up if you get caught by the floodlights or spotlights, whatever. And I don't think there's anything in the jail cell that you need to worry about getting caught for because um, sometimes there will be chests in the jail cells like in uh, Four Swords that you, if you want to get them and 100% complete them, I guess, and get every item that's in each level, you can get caught. But regarding this one where... 100% actually matters in my opinion. You don't really need to go there because again, there is no chest. But let me see. We don't need to drop down there. We just keep moving forward through this door. There's also going to be another chest I think that we can grab. If not, we'll get it another time. To uh... I think there's a heart piece in it. But first, let's go up this ladder. And I think we're going to come across another headlight or spotlight. I keep saying headlight. So... Oh man, we're not gonna be able to get another joy pendant, but as long as we kill the guy so that we won't get spotted once we continue making our way up, that's all that matters. Okay, so we did come from this side, so now we have to keep moving forward on this side. I don't think there's a ladder anywhere here, so we're going to keep moving forward. Oh yes, this is another sneak point. This is the fun part too. There's going to be rats that sometimes like try to take off your barrel to expose you to so you can get caught. You just got to be really careful. And if you get too close to these guys, they'll like... It kind of like freezes you to where it's like, okay, you're going to get caught if you keep moving. So you just have to be super quick about not moving. Oof, there it is right there. And then there's also that right, I think. You can also um, move the C stick around, which is the little yellow stick, just to see like where they're looking at. That way you don't get caught.
There's gonna be another sneaky part here. There's gonna be one last um little what is it? Sneak area? Stealth area? Before you can actually be scot free from these enemies that you had to hide from. Oh we almost got caught there. <laughs> I also um, thought that those other guys that we fought before were moblins, but I think they are bokoblins because these are moblins for sure. So I like to get as far away as I can before I even think about um, getting out of the barrel because he could have good sight and then just be like, oh no you don't. And because we got rid of those spotlights um, that we're aiming here, we're not going to be able to sidle, is a sidle, across with ease and not have to worry about getting spot spotted. This is also a place where you can, uh, a game where you can pick a wall. You guys already saw that. You could pick up the enemy's weapons. <laughs> and I think that's so cool. Except these don't break and stuff. Um, what other game does that besides Breath of the Wild? We did have a game, I'm pretty sure. Um, Skyward Sword, you get to pick up Galactus's sword. And I think that's it. I don't think Majora's Mask had it or Ocarina of Time. I'm not sure. I don't remember anymore. Link. Link. 
Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. Wow, oh my gosh, everybody assaults us all the time. What is wrong with them? Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how you desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. It's actually Ganondorf, sir. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart. To the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sail must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. And we will do in the next episode. So this is where we're going to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you're excited to see this little island town in the next... Oh, Windfall Island. So now you know the name. In the next episode. And we are going to probably do our first dungeon in the next episode. So hope you guys are excited to see that. And um. Also, this little piggy's cute, and look at him go in the water. I love watching these pigs and animals be in the water. Oh, I should not have done that. But he's cute. Look at him swim. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope um, this pig will stop being harassed by me. Probably not, but look at it. Watch, watch. There's something cute. Look, look, look. <laughs> he shakes the water off. He's so cute. No, don't go back in the ocean. Okay, well, whatever. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, wherever you guys are. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.